Hello, hello, everybody, and uh, this schmuck just appeared. Out of no, I keep forgetting that like whenever you like load up a save in this game, that these guys can just appear out of nowhere. Well, we're gonna go ahead and fight this guy because he's here. He offers. So let's smash him down. First things first, we're going to see what is available. All right, we are in the back corner, so we don't really have to worry about being ambushed. There's no flying enemies that we need to worry about. We'll have ready access, presumably, to all the sparklies, but let's see. We have a revenant. Let's see. What is what does its game say a, a revenant is? A risen minion with sharp claws and high strength. That doesn't explain what it is, though. Archer with iron bow. Iron Lance, Elfire, Iron Axe, uh, Normal Bullion. I think this guy... What's an Entombed? Noble Risen with High Strength and Hatred for the Living. And if I remember correctly, one hell of, like, uh, uh, experience payout. And then just a Pegasus guy and then a Revenant who has... What is that skill? Underdog. Neat for you. I just need to decide. Da, 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 da. Once again, we will first select our units, of which I don't think I'll have Krom be out here. Because I want to, like, level people up and their relationships. I forgot to do that. I was going to, like, plan out people's relationships with each other. Let's see, who do we want to not bring in? I suppose... Maybe not bring in Pan. Because the thing is... I'm just trying to think. Could level up our mages some. I really should dedicate a few like uh, reeking boxes to just like trying to level up the healers. Maybe take a reeking box to a low level area. Let's see. Hmm. Like maybe. Because eh. I'll also like be using Sumi and Frederick in actual combat, so could bring in Lisa and Gaius because I want to like level them up and see like how their relationship plays out. But other characters also need to level up like Vike. Vike could use some leveling. Kellum could use some leveling. Gaius is at a good level but I also mm, I do not know. Bop, bop, bop. Guess I could bring these two in and try and level them up some. There's so many people that I need to level up. Or am I things again? I just want to know. Because I'm just all over the place of my mind. So yeah, I guess we'll do this. I suppose. Then we need to manage inventory because some people have weapons that they shouldn't. Like, you don't need a steel sword. Healing should be good. We have a lot of frickin' things. Can anybody else wield the falcon? If I, like, took it off him, I don't think so. Ba, ba. Then let's see. He's a D rank, so you can only use that. He's a D rank, so you can only use iron. He's a C rank, so he could probably. We also need to give him a better sword anyway, so that when that breaks, he can like actually do things. So let's see. Uh, let's give him. Apparently, we have a lot of. Them. We'll give him the slightly worn one. see. I guess that's it. 
Next view map. Who do we want to put where? And then who do we want to pair with who? We'll obviously pair our mages together. We'll swap them so that he can be up front. But uh, She has slightly more health. Yeah, so... Vike and Kellum can pair together. Maribel can go with Stahl. Gaius can go with you. And I think that'll be it. Yep. Well, Alright, we'll save before we go. And then we'll destroy these dudes. Route the enemy, so kill them all. Alright then. I should have moved these guys. Yeah, them. Activate that. First thing I should do. Hmm, is there an odd number of units that we can use in this fight? Yeah, that's odd. Unless I'm missing somebody. In fact, I'll move you back because these guys should. Ba ba ba. Yeah, that's kind of odd. We'll place you guys here in the back. Maybe give them a chance. And, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, go from here. Who will attack who? Darn. Good job for the miss. That was a 60% hit chance. Oh, nope, they're moving up. So we can't do our normal cheese strat. These are angry people. Oh. Hmm. Who do we want to give to what? Let's come up here and... Because first things first, uh, what is your... We could probably stand to level up your spearmanship. This will be the perfect time. Go smack this guy with a spear. Hmm. If really, if we get rid of him, then everything should be fine. Come up here. Use our steel sword to one hit this guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just get him out of the way. Okay, just annihilate this poor fool. Do a spin! That was tasty. I never pay attention to critical hit chances. Because I am a fool. Oh, hey, we can come up here and maybe smack him with the hammer and kill him. Does bonus damage. Let's do it. <laughs> Praise be the hammer. Teachers did 10 sit-ups and I didn't even break a sweat. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting his voice. question is, if we kill either one, I think Elfire is slightly scarier, so let's go smickety-smack this guy. Only three damage, good for you. Learn what they, these guys are. I wonder. My question is, who do we want to give it to? We'll give it to Muriel because she needs the experience. Quick 
experience from Mariel. I still don't know what that one word is. I'll suck for you if you get annihilated. Uh, I think you're gonna annihilate this guy too. G Gaius decides to come in and kill Steel. Okay, and double level up. How sweet. Ooh, the relief skill. I wonder what that is. Really, I wonder what skills are in general. Hey, you don't be jerks. Don't be jerks. It's gonna do 14 fucking damage? Never mind, he's gonna get crit to death, unless he survives with one hit. Nope. <laughs> Almost. Muriel took that personally and decided to fuck off. All we're gonna do is we're gonna switch and we're going to heal so we can level up our healers a bit. How did you get... Oh, yeah, because you probably, like, stepped on a... a something or other and went... Ah, magic. Same thing. We're gonna come down here. We're going to heal you. What we'll do is... We'll place these guys back here. We'll move Callum in the front and put them here, and we'll take it. We will tank some damage. You are a big, silent man. Why is Cordelia just such a fucking badass? And I forgot to look at her skill. We'll have to do that. <laughs> Callum coming in with uh, absolute obliteration. Oh. That's not good. Luckily like it can't crit. Who knows, maybe it'll miss. Or maybe Gaius will block the damage. Nope. 15 damage. What an asshole. Next thing we'll do is we'll come up here. Heal the deer. No dying. Dying is bad. But that is a good spread of skills. Obviously, we're going to swap and we're going to absolutely obliterate you for what you've done, you fiend. How dare you even exist? <laughs> Do a backflip. And yeah, that is a guaranteed level up on whoever. I wonder if that punishes you if you, like, do too many level ups in a single go. Relief. Each turn if no units are within three spaces. Eh, interesting. Hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah, that she should get there. I'm gonna set her there. They're gonna go after them again, aren't they? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. There's no real way to get an accurate thing, but... I'm just scared of its, like, possibility of doing damage. Uh, maybe it shouldn't be that bad. Gaius could steal Dias. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna lock Gaius off from being attacked. So, I, I wanted to get that sparkly, but this guy's gonna die anyway! 17 by 2? Because you're so fast? Very 
when my characters are too strong for me to get all the bonus sparklies. Yeah, it does seem like multi-leveling in a single level, unless I just got weird luck Ooh. there. But since we are here, let's go and do another DLC or two. Like Champions of Your 2, I think, was rated a decent difficulty level that it shouldn't be too bad. I'll just need to bring in good people. What will be the thing here? And will I remember what the old man Bubba's voice is like? Wait, are we in the same out realm as before? Quick, let's get out of here before the old das- You're back! You really came back! I can't believe you came back! I mean, of course you came back! Just as I divined! Divine? Uh, I... He's confusing me now. How about listen? Oh, if only Beatrice was still here to see you take pity on her doddering old husband. She was a big supporter of charity, you know. She married me, after all. <laughs> Hubba, enough. Just point us to your stolen Einhard jar cards and we'll be on our way. <clears throat> yes, well, actually, I had a vision that we'd find the thief in three, two. Really? Oh, my, Hubba. Did you follow me all the way here? I do love a man with endurance. There she is, right on schedule. The filthy, lying, exquisite beauty who stole my cards. Wait a minute. Isn't that... Oh, oh, does she look familiar? Even so, I can assure you this is not the woman you know. She comes from a different world than you or I. One already well on its way to ruin. Be warned, she's not to be underestimated. Or trusted. Or shown secret L rooms. Especially not while I have your, all your big, strong Einherd jar to protect me, Hubba. You never told me all your calling cards summoned heroes from the past. You of all people know how much I love antiques, Bubbles. I told you you don't get to call me that anymore! See what she does? Honestly, I'd love to help you fight her, if only I'd thrown my back out. But hey, at least I have the Einherd jar you reclaimed from me last time. Now let's see. Come forth, my brave and comely heroines! Lend us your swords and shapely muscles! As you wish, I will strike down any wrongdoers. I'll show you what I can do with a blade. I hope we can end this with as little bloodshed as possible. For their sake, they are probably going to be cards as well. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Eh? Well then, good luck! Ah, so it's going to be the same map, just with different things. Alright, then. So, really... Ah, so it's a different Marth, with a different thing. Ike, Soth, Roy, Elliewood, Sigard, Leaf, Ephraim, Zelif. Oh, we're split up. Hmm. We're going to be... Hmm. So, I would say swap out. We'll keep Maribel. We'll keep Maribel. Let's see. Let's swap out our them. Let's see. Maybe we'll bring Viking and he can go with Cordelia, perhaps? Hmm. Or actually, we'll bring Kellum and he can go of Cordelia so that there's, like, somebody who can swap to a big old, like, armored man to help save the day. But who else? We could bring Donal in, maybe, to level him up some. Hmm. And Vike. Yeah. Hmm. Trying to think. Now the question is, who should go of who? Because... Hmm. At the very least, that. Huh, so... But who would be best paired with Marth? Uh, Marth? No. I think uh, that would probably be for the best. 
maybe I didn't knew. And I forgot to sell my bullion! Mer. Well, I think that would do good for now. I think that's good, yes. So, we're gonna save. Let's go! I'm counting on you, my sweet prince. Of course, milady, I'm yours. What? Wait, Marth? Again? And he looks different. Hmm. It's another reflection of the same man. Hmm. How can I explain this? Just as no two artists would paint him the same way, so too his cards differ. Even cards of the same person have different appearances and abilities. I guess that kind of makes sense, to a degree. So you knaves have come to kidnap Lady Aversa. I will not allow it. Leave now before any harm comes to you. You are mistaken, Prince Moth. We're not kidnappers, I assure you. We would never think of tying her up and making her beg for mercy. How about, weren't you the one saying I and her jar can't be reasoned with? Enough of your lies. Draw your weapons and die with honor. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. Did my part. The rest is up to you and yours, Crom. <sighs> uh, yes, Hubba. Thanks so much for the assistance. Nope, can't talk to you. Guess I'll... Hmm. Just in case, but I want to give, like, Donald a chance to do things. Okay, good. We'll have you go together. And you can come here and talk to this town. <sighs> oh, try plowing a field when armies are marching through left and right. Get off my land, you sons of... What's that? You say you'll leave as soon as you stop the fighting? In that case here, consider it my humble way of saying hurry the hell up! Defense tonic. And they close the door. Like I said, we'll come here, visit. What a bleeding nightmare! Who brought an army down upon our peaceful village, eh? Was it you? No? Oh, so you've come to drive off those dastards I see. Veneer, take this and finish the job before we have to get uncivilized. Titania's axe. Badass. This doesn't feel right. Are we really doing what's best for the kingdom? And none of them moved. Huzzah. I guess I'll send them in. Why so cheery? Did they serve your favorite breakfast? Certainly not. This morning's tea was refreshing and put me in high spirits. That works. Damn it. Oh, because it... I don't know. Oh, it's a mountain, so that probably lowers our, our stuff. Well, since I feel Donald will be safe like that. Hmm. I guess you guys can go there and grab that. Did someone lose this? Perhaps I might deliver it. An imposing axe. Just a lot of axes today. I'll send him here. Potentially lure people in. I'll teach you to harass a poor defenseless girl. He says as he comes to attack a guy guarding a girl. That's not good at all. I can't believe you trust that fixin more than us. Ouch. Well, at least Donald's gonna be eating good today. Don't kill Donald. Throw down your weapon and surrender and I may spare your life. Donald's gonna be eating good today. Get stabbed. Hello, Roy. Well, don't you look tough for a scrawny little kid? 
Surrender now and the Vike might just take you under his wing. Why would I surrender even if I have my doubts? And more importantly, who in the world is the Vike? Damn it, Vike. For brigands, you're clearly capable. I'm going to enjoy this. Donnie is an impossible being right now. And Vike is probably gonna die. I'm not much of a fighter, but I have to do my part. Yep, Vike is in a bad place. Hey, come and beat up some of these guys, will ya? When you call yourselves men, how could you let a vixen like that trick you? I'm missing out on all of the lore. This all has to mean something. And she's just annihilating everyone. They're too strong for me. It's up to you, Roy. I suppose it falls to me to make these boys from their wake these boys from their chivalrous fantasy. one-handing that. What? Oh. <laughs> this sword shall always be the sword of the oppressed. I swear it again. Uh, you better kill him in one go or you're dead. If you miss that, if you got a 2% miss. I've shamed myself and my father. Damn right you have. doesn't seem to be a good way to do any of this. Hmm. First thing's definite first. probably do is move him back and then send Kellum up maybe let's see ah this would annihilate him annihilate him I can't I have to believe in our cause I cannot let doubt weaken me unless you get a 1% crit I'm not scared of you I wonder if Roy fought Pegasus Knights Surely. I should have believed harder. What are you, the Goku of belief? Just gotta believe harder. Hmm. Doesn't really seem like there's much of anything. trying to think, because all these guys are wielding swords, so Lance should be good. Hmm. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be much else to go. I wish I could, like, theoretically see what the matchup would be against anybody with anybody, but... Mm. My thought is maybe... Come down here, swap to him, mm, but that wouldn't do much either. So my option is basically just fight you. Which would then allow Marth in... Hmm. And 
There's nothing I could really do against this guy. Mostly, so my only real targets. Hmm. So let's see. With lances, these guys have kind of bad. a bad time. And again. Hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna have Donald. Whack this guy. Are you ready? Uh, I have to retreat, regroup. Level up for Donal. With a good spread. This little piggy's learned some new tricks. And leveled up his spear game. Now the question is, do I want to come up here? Let's see. Answer is probably not, because then that would be near guaranteed death. Hmm. All in all, hmm. The main issue would be because if we fight, he would deal some damage. If I choose to not fight, then that would... Yeah. Hmm. I think my best option is to just stay there. You sure you want to do this? Our allies are probably going to get annihilated. Hope there isn't a keep them alive clause. This will only make me stronger. Just wait. Oh, I, I didn't foresee that one. I will defend this land at all cost. Goodbye, Erica. Forgive me, but I can't. Mm, please lead us to victory. Maybe Marth can carry? Oh, that's a bitch ass move. Because my ally died. Goodbye, Vike. Stupid horse man. Ah, he missed. Good job, Vike. And you landed your hit. Good job, Vike. And now you get to heal. And leveled up his weapon, at least. Oh, come on. You can stand on a mountain. How be? Goodbye. Ah, good. He lived. And only did two damage. Ephraim scares me. Outdoor fighter. Good job. I'm not strong enough or stupid enough to hold back. Now, come on. You're going to die. Celica is like the only one who's doing anything. I should have fought better. You should have chosen not to fight there. You are our last ally. And you have killed more people than I have. To be felled by lowly scum like this, it sickens me. Well, we're in a bad spot. Yeah, because let's see, I could swap. We came here and fought him. Donald would actually do decently against him, and maybe not even take any damage. How would the boy do? So the optimal thing would to be throw Donald to the wolves. Goodbye, Donald. Darn it, he hit. Why? I have to get stronger.
Hmm. What I could do now is now mend Donal, and then Maribel would get annihilated, allowing Stahl to take the heal. <laughs> Probably move bike up, change to axe. So the optimal answer is to, yeah, go for this. I wonder if, like, characters you have. Darn it. You've made up for it. You may have missed, but you defended. But I wonder if your characters die in a DLC, if they die for real. Like in an actual match. Hmm. Let's see. Likely to die. Likely to die. So yeah, the optimal answer is to sacrifice Maribel. Goodbye, Maribel. You are going to be annihilated unless they go for Donald for some reason. Goodbye, Vike. You could have saved him, Cordelia. You could have jumped in to take the hit. Ogre's teeth. Goodbye, Teach. Goodbye, Maribel. You are likely to die. Well, they all... Okay, they decided, fine, miss one Maribel, let's not go anymore. And now she's gonna kill Steel again. Celica, also known as the Kill Stealer. That is all that she does. She steals kills. Well, I have a 100% chance to hit, so... Unless you miraculously decide not to get hit. Then again, we could... Hmm, let's see. Swap. Hmm. Then again, he has a low chance to actually... hit. <laughs> but he bo does bonus damage, because it's a noble rapier. But I could also heal him, heal Donald, which I shall do. Leveling for Maribel. And who knows? <laughs> Apparently this guy is just a major damage dealer no matter what, but don't worry, it's a 100% chance he won't miss. And then, due to the calculations of the game, there was actually a 0.0001% chance that he could miss at 100%. You fight well. I hope we meet again. Donnie comes up and stabs him in the chest. Nice spread. Nope, he's going for her again. Roll the 50 receive. And he missed again! You fool! And we're just going to... Then again... Rapier is good against anybody, so really who has the more health? 29 versus 21. Oddly enough, it's good to have you out there. Since he already went... Let's, I guess, falcon this guy. How dare you hurt the prince? This is prince on prince action. And again, it is likely that he would die. Although a bronze, an iron sword would almost kill him. Hmm. I kind of 
kind of wish that I w it would like or tell. We'll just have them switch and then just wait. Now this is when he'll hit. When he has a lower chance. Yep, that's hilarious. Mirabelle, 57% chance to hit. Twice misses. I'm like, oh, now I'll just go and he, uh, make him be there to heal. 40% chance hit. <laughs> the world is a cruel beast. Back, move them up, and let's see who can smack. Would you like to smack? But you wouldn't be able to kill. Darn. Unless. Uh, darn. And if we swap to Donald, still possibility of death. Is it because they have a chance to double him? Nope. Just the pure damage. Swapped. Ah, we'll give it to Cordelia then. She hasn't been able to kill anything all day because of the Wind Mage. If only I could do more. How about you do nothing? Really? Well, well, your new friends are quite something, Bubbles. Perhaps I'd best retreat for now. See you later. Wait! Wait! Get back here! What? See you later? <laughs> oh, Hubba, you still got it, you sly old... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> she got away! Oh, fiddlesticks! You are an odd man, Bubble Man. Hibbledy dibbledy Bubble Man. Well, I suppose I soothseed this too. Soothsaw? Soothsawed. Anyway, I've known this would happen ever since the first time I met her, and that's why it still happened. And the frickin' difficulty guide is just like, Ah, yes, this is just a one-star difficulty. Just like the first one. I think it lied to me. She came to my house asking to be my apprentice. I was her master, she said. Then one morning I wake up and she's gone, and of most all my eye her jar. The cards were so well hidden, too, in a special place kept secret for generations. Don't blame yourself. No doubt she used some dark art to divine the... I told her where they were. <sighs> of course you did. It was such a juicy secret. I thought she'd be impressed. And she was. Especially at the map I drew. I think my ancestors would understand my folly. Certainly Great Uncle Fondle would. But don't judge me, lest ye be judged later. I see big lady troubles in your future. No. Given your record up to now, I'm not too worried. Why don't you use your crystal ball to tell us where a verse of flood of the other cards? <laughs> Some other out realm, I suppose. We'll catch him next time. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure there'll be a next time. We really should be... Wait, I'm having another vision! Why, it's the future again, and you're all there. Again! What? You don't say. Yes. yes, you defeated a versa and found another family treasure she stole. This precious tomb, it allows you to learn a special skill. And I'm giving it to you! Oh, you look so happy to have helped a tired, wrinkled, pitiful old man. Um. Ah, fine. I'll consider it. Huzzah! Thank you so much! Again, there's no rush. Time continuing all that. Oh, and to help you out, there's one of the cards you saved, the young Lion Roy. Quite dashing, isn't he? I'll entrust him to your tactician. He was the one that was questioning things the most. So the lady was deceiving us. I'm sorry I was so blind to it. Let me fight alongside you as you recompense, as recompense. My name is Roy. Have you heard of me? I will say no. So we can learn more, maybe. I'm the son of the Mar Marquess in the Lycian League of on the continent of Elbi. El Elbi? I don't know. These are too many letters that make no sense to my brain. <gasps> I fought on my father's behalf when he was too ill to mend our war-torn continent. I'm still young, but one day I hope to become a great man like my father. 
And the more I know about other worlds like yours, the better my chances. What's your name? Neon, you say. It has an interesting ring to it. I suppose it must be commonplace in your world. Ha <laughs> ha, no. So what is your home like? When I was young, I studied abroad in a neighboring house. I've always been fascinated by other places and the people who inhabit them. Do you like your world, Neon? Sh sure, why not? I knew it. I can see it in your eyes. It must be a wonderful place. Are there ships, fruit, war? How do people make a living? Tell me everything. It is interesting that they decided, like, ah, yes, the tactician shall talk to the cards. Your world seems like a fascinating place. You've convinced me I must visit someday. Perhaps you'll take me with you. Who knows, I might even find it I enjoy your world as much as my own. Sure, recruit Roy. Unless there's like a limit of people you can recruit, I don't think it's that bad. Let's see, the only other, like, uh, one that I might want to try is called the Golden Gath. Which I guess we could try. I think I see Victor in there. Or is it Vincent? Again, we can, like, check out, like, the the danger level and see what this is. The Golden Gaff. What even are you? Oh, th these guys. Literally, again. Oi, Vincent. Why the long face, mate? This is not their personality they had in the paralogue. Like, the way they said is just, like... Oi, and stuff. You look like the lad who got bounced from the pub. Hmm? It's my pockets, Victor. They're lighter in a vicar's purse on tax day. I lay down with the have a little kip and woke up to find me gold gone. Ain't been this broke since my dear old mum blew the rent on bangers and mash. <laughs> oh, now, don't be such a mug. I knows how to replace your coin. We just go in this here mansion, kill them all risen, nick their gold, and Bob's your uncle. Oh. Blimey, Vic, you really fi uh, think d think them. You'd think it would be think dim if they're going for that. You really think them dead blokes are carrying around cash? It don't make sense. <laughs> Nothing makes sense here, mate. So don't try to suss it out. Like, how did we get here, like? And how did we get such trick haircuts? What even are you talking about? You just got to roll with it. Blimey, Vic, you're right. This here's a bloody gold mine. I'll be so loaded down with the shiny stuff my knees will buckle. Hmm? Hello? There's someone there. Cole, what's this then? A fly in the old ointment, eh? Hmm. That bloke will foil our grand plan, he will. Time to do a runner, Vic. <sighs> what did I just hear? Crazy people. Oh no, Krom, you won't believe this! What's wrong? The Risen stole all our gold! All of it! What? Our entire war chest? How could that happen? Huh? No, hold on. What I said, our gold, what I really meant was my gold. I can see how that might sound confusing there. Neon was guarding the army's cash reserves, so that's totally safe. But my nest egg! The Risen made off of my life savings! Hmm? Really? You have a nest egg? <sighs> well, sure, we all put a little money aside for, you know, personal stuff. I save whatever I f make or find in the gutter or whatever, it adds up. Gods, Lisa, you pick up coins from the gutter? Huh? Um, yeah, doesn't everyone? Indeed. Indeed we do. To think all those hours of backbreaking labor wasted. Huh? Frederick? Not you too. Ah. I'm afraid so, my lord. Those blasted ghouls pilfered my entire savings. We should strike back at once, teach them a lesson about tear touching my, uh, that is... Uh, they could go on to rob others. We must strike for future generations' sake. Hmm. Right, and certainly not out of greed or embarrassment. Of course. Precisely, my lord. Now, to battle! Krom. Yeah, Krom, to battle! And all that other stuff Frederick said. <sighs> uh. Alright. Well, I guess first things first. Well, I guess first, first things first. Okay, they're all just up here. And they look fucking scary, but they have a bunch of money. Huh. But they look fucking scary is what they are. Difficulty one, you say? Uh-huh.
Like, sure, there are some low-level ones in there. But then there's, like, the Risen Trickster with 46 health, who looks like he could probably one-shot me. And what are these skills? Vantage. Always strike first, even when attacked. Pass through spaces occupied by enemies. Lucky seven. Jesus. Hmm. These guys look scary. And all my units are spread out all over the place. So yeah, we're not going to do this. We have to level up and then we can do that. That's like... I can only imagine like a late game grinding area. Like, hey, you want more money? Go get more money and die for it. Unless there's like a secret to it. But that would mean like looking up a guide and I'm not going to do that. What do you do when you need a distraction? Well, I'm always running errands to town. My Pegasus is suited for that sort of thing. And their relationship improved. He can magically talk to women now. And now, I guess, just a conversation of the redheads. Hey, how come I never see you in camp after battles? Oh, I'm always running errands. <laughs> she said the exact same thing. Hilarious. You'd think that there would be a small little programming thing to make sure that doesn't happen. Or at least not in the same barracks chain. I managed a quick bit of violin practice. I try to stay abreast of the noble pursuits. Good for you. Now your experience is off. It's no longer an even number. Huh? Did someone lose this? This is so irresponsible. A glass bow? I don't think... How would that even work? Then again, glass sword. And now for another relationship affinity boost. You never seem bored, do you? How do you spend your rainy days? I primarily read. <laughs> that is the only thing that she has ever said. Is I read and put books back what I get. Well, let's now go to support. Stall and Maribel. B. You will be oh, Stall, I wanted to thank you for your concern the other day. That tonic did wonders for my indigestion. I'm delighted it helped. In fact, I was wondering if you might have another dose or two to spare. Are you planning to stay up all night again? Because if so, if you don't want to give me any say-so and stop wasting my time. Hey, no, that's not uh, here. Have as much as you like. <clears throat> thank you, you're too kind. I know it's not my concern, but please do take care of yourself, m'lady. Oh, very well. I suppose you deserve some manner of explanation. For a long time now, my dream has been to join the royal judiciary. A fool's dream, it seems, now that I have... Not that I... Ha, ah, now that I know how much I must read and memorize. Wow. Eesh, that sounds like a challenge. I envy your courage and dedication. Er, but there is any... But, um, is there any way I might help make your dream come true? I suppose I could think of something, but why on earth would you care? Nah. Because I have no dreams of my own and want to live vicariously through yours. Er, but more seriously, you're my friend. I just want to help if I can. Really? Well, I have found myself on the hunt for certain legal documents. Very nice. It would be an honor. My Excellent. In return for your help, I shall help you discover a dream of your own. Huh? Well, that's all right. I don't have... You shared your tonic, and now you are helping me with my studies. It behooves a woman of my station to return favors promptly. But living vicariously. Come you said we are friends, did you not, sir? And what do friends do for each other? <sighs> they help each other. I like their dynamic. I like good dynamics between these characters. Again, it just seems funny. They're like the only dynamic I'm kind of like... Like, that began kind of eh to me was the, uh, my main character in Krom. Hmm.
What I could do is the... Well, first things first, I should probably... Ah, actually, I should go and sell my... The bullion that I have acquired. And manage my inventory some. Is that all the bullion that we got? Just want to make sure. Good. Next we'll go inventory. Put away that defense tonic. Put away that imposing axe. You seem good. You seem good. He's C rank, so he could use... Hmm. Could have a steel lance to your arsenal. He has a sword, you have heals, you're good. We should bring Sully in sometimes to maybe level up her swordsmanship. Pull that out of the way. Let's see. So we should have another reeking box. We do have a Seraph robe to increase uh, HP. But I'll save that for now. We should have a reeking box. Hmm, I thought we did. There's somebody holding on to it. Am I dumb? Lisa, do you have it? We have to go buy a... We have to go buy a box. There's heels and men's at the peaceful village. Hmm. Take your time. First things first. We'll buy a reeking box. Hmm. That's it. We don't really need anything that's on sale from you. Even though you go poof. And now we'll do the thing again. Use the reeking box and summon a foe. He's a big beefy boy, it looks like. We shall save because we are good beans. Now we will fight. Fight the dudes. Alright, first things first. Is there any flyers? Nope. But there's a lot... Well, there is some flyers. There's like one flyer. And then a bunch of motherfuckers in armor who themselves are weak to other armored people. Hmm. But they're slow, so we should try to take advantage of that. But they have a bunch of bullion, it looks like. A steel lance to take. And a bunch of lances. Alright, select units. Hmm. Like, maybe bring Kellum in. Hmm. Definitely take Roy out. We don't want to use him. Because Vike might be good for this, since he has a hammer. Vike, where are you? Are you already activated? He's already activated. Hmm. Who else? Side. Like maybe, hmm. Hmm. I guess I could bring Sumia in with Frederick, keep them going, level up her lance a bit. And still bring in one more person. Hmm. I guess Donal and Vike can go together, but who else should we bring in? Because it's just the fact that there's a lot of spear people. Like maybe Virion so that he can pair up with somebody. 
who's beyond his wife. Now, let's see. Well, actually... Now the question is, who would pair up with who? Obviously, Maribel will go with Stahl. Donnie can go with Vike. But he needs to be a bit up more. So yeah, Sumia and Frederick. Maribel and you. You and you. And I guess Cordelia's on her own again. Or maybe I could set Cordelia up with Kellum. And Vike can be on his own. Poor bastard. By the way, I think we're good. Let's see. Inventory. We'll put the Iron Axe away and bring back the Iron Axe. Press these first. Oop. everyone up. Oh, no, I'm just blind, so yeah. She can go with Kellum. He can go with the boy. I'll put him in here so they can come and fight him. just this guy who could go anywhere, so we'll actually move him up. And since they're both in danger, we'll move Kellum up here. You hit the boy! Now he hits back, and you have two health. Donnie eats well today. There's just so many armored men. And one thief. Let's see. Go up and smack you and just utterly annihilate you. Hmm. But Kellum really needs to level up his stuff, I think. Hmm. Question, question, question. Let's see. He won't even do any damage. But you do need to level up your spear, so go smack this guy. And you did no damage. the normal axe so we don't wear out our hammer too much. There you go, Vike. You can level up before you probably die. Let's see. And if we swap an attack, we do a lot of damage. But again, we should probably be leveling Kellum a bit. Hmm. Huh. How would you do against him? You'd actually do quite well. You can go up there and annihilate him. Maybe come down here and poke him. 
Yeah, go down there and poke this guy a bit. And get the shiny. Huzzah! You know, all these armored guys kind of scared me at first. You can learn a lot about this world from a Pegasus' back. Hmm. Yeah, come up there and kill that Risen. It won't do any damage to you. He could attack twice and do no damage. Hilarious. A level for Callum. Well, at least one of us is impressed. And got Bullion! Come up here and kill this guy. Good job, Virion. You will survive, Stall, even if you can only do one damage twice. Huh. And you would almost kill this guy. Oh, never mind. Varian's coming in for the kill again. Donnie is becoming a force to be reckoned with. Now that he's got his prerequisite level out of the way, which is a good spread there, should probably let Varian do some hitting. Unless this... Never mind. A thief has decided to sacrifice himself to the altar of Donal. No, quit feeding Donald. He doesn't need any more food. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Is there anybody else that we want to? We could probably send him up. Could kill him. Hmm. But at that rate, wouldn't we want to just come up here? Oh, but we leave him at 1 HP? These guys make no sense. Let's see, who else? Hmm. Could do that, lower its HP only by 3, though. Or stall. Send her there. She can poke him. Because how much damage are you projected to do? He's projected to do 10 damage. So if we come up here. And poke you with an iron lance. That should be enough. Unless you crit. Which you don't need to. Never. Just don't crit. <laughs> don't need to. I was half afraid that Frederick was going to go for a fourth hit and be like, ah, time for murder. Which you do not need to do that. If I wanted to, I could kill him, but only if my sword and... Hmm. Stall, did stall level up? Did stall level up? Let's go to the fool. He leveled up recently, but I don't know if he leveled up, like, this time, because my brain is mush, you know. Meanwhile, I know that you haven't gotten anything just yet, Varian. Go ahead and take this guy out with an iron bow. A jump shot. And a level up for Varian. And he only got two... Two diddly-dees. Let's see. Could send him up, and he could bring him down, and then Stahl can go up there and bash him over the head once.
And now Vike's probably gonna die. <laughs> yeah, come up there and poke that guy to death. And then we'll just block him off from getting to Vike. Haha, -ha, you fools. You missed the little man. The little man comes to stab you twice. And you missed, you fool. Now I need to decide who do we want to do what. Let's see. Could send him to lower this guy's HP so that Stall can kill him and level up. Maybe send her up there to whittle that guy down? Hmm, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Let's see. Bring that down to 7 HP, of which he does 10. So... Hmm. Let's do it. No crits. Damn it, uh, this is not what we need! Varian designed to be a glory hound. But fine, we can poke him. Which should then allow Stall to get a kill. Everybody's getting a crit today. It is a cool animation, at least. And a level up for Stahl. With a nice spread. Just look at me go! I'll move him up. And we guess uh, they can fly down here and grab the other Sparkly before this guy commits suicide against somebody. That works out. No, not the boy! Poor Virion. Now the question is, who do I want to give what? Stall already leveled up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap. She's gonna heal Vike. Let's see. We can send these guys up here to bring it down to 13. Then Cordelia can finish it off. So what we will do. Unless we want to send him in. Which would bring it down to 4. Hmm. Now let's let them get some combat in. Problem is, is that they are actually really high on affinity, so that it's more likely that they'll double attack. <laughs> what if we walked away a bit? You know what? No. We're gonna send Vike in. He's gonna hammer this guy. Oh yeah. And now Cordelia can come in and wipe up the kill. Over Booyah. 
with a nice spread. And a steel lance! And we don't get to know who the heroes are. Nobody knows who the heroes are. Not in this world. Not anymore. What supports do we have? Cordelia and Kellum. Good. It seems that I have gone undetected. <clears throat> oh, hey there, Cordelia. What are you doing? C Kellum! How long have you been there? Gods, but it's impossible to do anything in secret with this guy hovering around. Sorry. Sorry? Did you say something? I didn't mean to interrupt your training. Uh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's my fault I got caught. I don't know. Practicing your stealth moves, eh? Are you planning some sort of covert op? Right. A good warrior should never neglect the chance to practice all her skills. You never know when they might come in handy. Wow. Wow, Cordelia. You're so dedicated. Huh? Yes, but when it comes to stealth, you have us all beat. <laughs> yes, but I don't know if that counts. It's not like I practice or anything. People just seem to overlook me. <sighs> oh, come on. Come now. There must be something special that you do. What? Not really. I just kind of stand here and fade into the background. Anyway, I'd better be on my way. Good luck with your training. What? Kellum, wait! I wanted to talk more about... How does he do that? You'd think that armor would be a, would be a big clanking giveaway. That's a kind of fun thing. And apparently that's her first... ally. So we're gonna go sell more... I carry only the finest. Blion. Bullion. Is that all our bullion? It does look like. And we're going to go ahead and uh, buy our reeking box. Hmm. And we'll just uh, do one more reeking box here, because we can use. This seems to be one that would be good for our Flyers and Virion. Oh, and Rickon. First view map. Nobody hovering over, but a lot of people flying. A lot of people flying, so this might be a good time to... Hmm. Yeah, maybe shelve Donald. Select units, so yeah. Maybe shelve Donald... Shall Vike bring in Rickon and Muriel so that Rickon can carry Muriel a little bit, maybe? Let's see. Put you there. You there. Hmm. She'll go with Stall. Muriel with Rickon, Sumia with Frederick, Cordelia with Kellum, and Varian is going to be on his own sniping out anybody who gets too close, I guess. I suppose that's enough. We'll save and then jump on in. Fight! Guess we'll... Then again, you're also weak to them, aren't you? Hmm. I'll activate that just so everybody is all around. Hmm. Let's see. I'm scared for your safety. Go like that, so it's harder to get to him. Jesus. Now be gone and... Oh, didn't die. Scary. Don't get careless. Smack this guy in the face with a lance. Kill Stealer Frederick to the rescue! Mm -hmm. 
So many targets lining up for Varian. No damage, you fool. Cordelia, they're all becoming tanky. Ah, Kellum tried to help, but he failed. Oh, damn it. You fiend! Huh. Wonder if I should bring out Maribel for healing. Haha. <laughs> I could blast him away. Hmm. Let's see. Send him up to attack you. What about Cordelia? Let's see. Hmm. The problem is that would also leave the boy out in the open, but... I need some leveling, so let's smack him down. And a level up for the boy. How did no one see? No one's looking. Um, it says bonus damage. It says it should kill, so we'll go for it. Does just enough damage to one-shot this guy. This poor guy is in danger no matter where he goes. Let's see. So it's mostly just this guy. Yeah, mostly just this guy. So if he comes up here... Well, he has a th oh, short axe for throwing, you bastard. He can't get up there to attack. So what about you? I can go up there to bash him with the, the Iron Lance. Maybe kill him. Maybe allow Virian to get a hit in. I think that was, we'll do. We'll attack you with this. Hmm. Block that damage. And a crit. Goodbye. You're dead. That was close. Hmm. Because now it just means that he can access anyone. Can you come up here and kill him? You cannot. What we can do is that we can move here, switch, and heal. And so long as you don't have any ranged attacks, Virian is fine. So yeah, I'm gonna blast you with a steel bow, because you're ugly. And some bonus for Rickon. Ah, double level up. Poor Virian. He is going to learning very slowly, but prescience and just I wonder what that skill is. Meanwhile, Rickon steals all of the stats and levels up his skills. You have picked a very poor uh, enemy to attack. Goodbye.
So I could come here. And Cordelia can kill him. Let's see. Can you annihilate this man? And what are we trying to level up uh, your spears? I think that wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. And Virion already leveled up, so we could probably just throw Virion to the side. Let's see, do you... It's hard to tell what, like, a normal axe and a throwing axe... What the differences are. Hmm. Let's see... So yeah, we're gonna send Stall to fight this guy. He should be do fine. Should be do fine. Should be do. Should should be do. And the monster missed. So he's a fool. Again, it would be amusing if Maribel's like, "I'm gonna smack you upside the head with my staff." It would amuse me greatly. You know, probably be a, that doesn't really matter. He can die, but I don't want to get into the habit of oh, he can die. Not the, not the move. Hmm. Again, the main problem is Sumia could probably just utterly annihilate these fools because Frederick is almost guaranteed to just jump in. So I'll. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll smite down this guy. And then we'll have Sumia attack the boss if the boss lives. Maybe we'll have, like, Muriel take up arms against it. A really good spread. I'll do all this and more to be with him. To be with who? Who is your lost Lenore? Let's see. Darn. Can't get into a position for him to snipe some damage. But you can. Again. Hmm. Let's use the Iron Lance. See if, if what happens. Will Frederick kill Steel? Frederick has kill stolen. Stolen. Lived with one HP. Perfect for Muriel to get a level up in, or well, at least a fight. Also, why are like all of the? And well, no, you don't get to fight. She gets to fight and get a kill. Nothing to fear but a fireball to the face. <laughs> Booyah. I swear, playing this game makes me feel like... What's its name? Well, I guess you can come get a... Get a shiny. Maybe find a thing. This extra training has left me exhausted. But at least I have the grace to not look it. Perfect. Is he gonna die? Faster. Maybe dodge. The boy is dead to hugs. It would be tawdry to fight on like this. Instead, I shall make a dignified exit. And we shall come down and let you beat up this guy with your spear some more. I should have let somebody grab the shiny. I'm an idiot. We probably left behind a legendary weapon. My lord. My lord. Melon lord. Melon man. Let's see. More support. Lots of support. Let's see. Ah, Cordelia and Sumia just got it by fighting alongside each other. I'll be safe. 
I'll be dead. I'll be safe. I'll be dead. Listen. Sumia? What are you doing? Huh? Oh, I've just seen how I'll get on in the next battle. <sighs> By pulling petals off a flower? <laughs> yes. Why? Is that strange? Right. Well, no stranger than any other attempt to foretell the future, I suppose. I don't put much stock in horoscopes. Fate is what you make it, I always say. I wish I was as strong as you, Cordelia. You are probably stronger than her. Then again, I'm... <laughs> then again, I've been pairing you with Frederick, so who knows? Maybe he's carrying you, literally. He's carrying you and your Pegasus at the same time. How so? You have so much confidence in yourself, you actually think you can control fate. I'm just thrilled if I can walk through camp without tripping on a stool. Our only limits are the ones we place on ourselves. But, in fact, it's time to get... Uh, you got rid of yours. First rule, no more flower fortunes. What? what? But how will I? I'm here. Second rule, no questions. You don't need some we to tell you what to do, Sumia. You control your own destiny. Trust me in this. Yes. Er, okay. That's kind of a nice thing. Muriel and Rickon. Hold a moment. Administer the spell to the charcoal, if you please. <gasps> Got it? Here! Yeah! Whoa. <laughs> And success. How nice. Oh, hey. Wait, hold on. Why did it glow like that? And why was it that color? And this is another byproduct of the spell's magical energy. Mm -hmm. So, I don't suppose this has any combat applications either. No. Absolutely none. Listen. And since that thunderbolt already glows, why bother with the coal at all? No. Practical use is not my concern. I conduct experiments to uncover natural truths. Mm. Gee, I never really stopped to think about anything like that. So, what's the next experiment? Anything I can help with? Right. I welcome your, ex your assistance, but as I said, it is likely to be dubious use at best. Ah, <laughs> uh, that doesn't matter. Let me help. This is really cutting-edge stuff. I mean, maybe you'll find some amazing use for it after all. Plus, we're tossing lightning bolts around and that's fun! Fascinating. <laughs> it is good to see one so young enjoying science. Let us proceed. Right. Yes, ma'am! They can go to S. How old are you, Rickon? <laughs> we should probably click on everyone's name. Aspiring Shepherd who hates being treated like a child. Depends. Are you just baby-faced or are you a child? In fact, I want to get to know everyone. Hardworking Shepherd who is always a uh, uh, a beat behind. Uh, an un Ulyssian Pegasus Knight too humble to see her vast talents. Un. Maribel, a shepherd and also Lisa's best friend. Proud yet kind. A clumsy, aspiring shepherd who tries her best all the same. The shepherd's stern and sarcastic second-in-command. The shepherd everyone seems to forget is there. <laughs> a grand loquent noble with a love of tall tales and romance. A meticulous, methodical shepherd with high standards. Yeah, well, who the hits being treated like, eh. Captain the Shepherds treats his men and, but firmly but fairly. Un Ulyssian. I get... I, so I suppose it's not an... A, but, Un Ulyssian just feels wrong on the tongue. A Ulyssian. Commoner with a funny way of talking. But yeah, Un Ulyssian just feels wrong. A scattered brain shepherd who insists he's in control. A mysterious traveler from the out realms. A shepherd and Crumb's little sister, eager to prove herself. A formidable Ulyssian thief with a soft spoken for uh with a soft spot for sugar. What don't you mean a formidable un Ulyssian? A traveler with no memory of the past, but a gift for tactics. A Kurt Feroxy warrior who wilts in the presence of women. The last of the Tagal race, sensible and self-reliant. Shepherd of foul mouth and a no-nonsense attitude. And mysterious traveler from the Diddly D. But then somebody unlock a new skill. Ah! When the unit initiates attack, he has greater hit avoid. But I guess... Fuck it, let's marry off Sumia to Frederick. In fact, if I remember correctly, yeah, she just doesn't have much options anyway. And I don't think she'd pair well with Gaius for some reason. Being able... Uh, plus the the idea of basically airdropping Frederick into the back line of the enemy amuses me. So let's marry you off. Oh, Frederick, you. I've been meaning to thank you. You're the one who polished my armor to such a lovely sheen, right? What? I... Wasn't sure you noticed. Yes! Of course I noticed. My plate and weapons have never looked so good. Why, I glittered like a lighthouse on my ride today. I actually felt pretty. <laughs> you are always beautiful to me, Sumia. In truth, I've eyes for no one else. 
<laughs> Not even Crom? No. Tis no laughing matter, milady. I serve Crom because I've sworn to do so. He is my lord and master. But when in your presence, I cannot tear my eyes from you. I'm captivated. True, at first it was because I feared you might blunder into a nearby tree. But soon I found myself gazing at you whenever the opportunity permitted. Huh? Oh, Frederick. Really? Please, milady, would you do me the honor of accepting this gift? This is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen, Frederick. Does it mean what I think it means? Ah. My heart is yours, milady, now and forever, if you would only but claim it. But, but why? I'm so inept at everything. Weeding, fire starting, weapon repair. Never fear. None of that matters so long as you are by my side. I just can't imagine. God, this ring is so shiny. You must have polished it for days. Frederick, this is the nicest thing that anyone has ever done for me. I love the music that's playing in the back. It kind of reminds me of, like, almost a, a classical Disney movie in a way. You deserve it and more. Were that I could, I would present you with the moon itself. You have the ability, Luna! So I guess that works. Yes! I don't want the moon, Frederick. I just want you. So yes, yes, and yes, yes again. You've made me the happiest woman alive. Felt like there would be a little bit more to that at the end, but that was sweet. I like all these characters and their interactions. It's just, it's just nice. Let's see. We've been going for a bit, so we should probably move on to Chapter 8. But first, we should probably also... First things first, probably take away... Let's see. We should probably give you a better sword, come to think of it. Do we have a, a B-level sword that you could use? Doesn't look like it. Superior edge, but that seems a little overkill. So we're going to give you an extra steel sword, along with your bronze, your bronze lance. Oh yeah, we also need to go and uh, sell the bullion. We should be good. We should be good. He should be good. Although we should probably trade out the bronze again for an iron sword if we can. But does not look like it. But at the same time, he's sea level. So he can have a steel sword as well. Do we have any, like, super good lances that you can have? Just steel lances. Well, you have a steel lance. Excuse me. Put the steel axe away. Hmm. Maybe give you an extra wind and you an extra fire, just so that you're you can save the wind for enemies that are super scary. There's so many units that I can use if I so choose. But yeah, we're gonna now come down here. What can I fix you with? We'll sell more bullion. And that's all that. We're gonna go ahead and buy a reeking box, but throw it into the diddly D. Then I suppose we should go ahead and do at least one chapter. And then maybe more reeking boxes, if I so choose. The Grim Lil, Chapter 8. <sighs> I'd like to believe it's our cunning that got us this far without being spotted. But we've seen far too little of the Plegian Guard. Where are they? Whatever trap Gangrel has planned, he's in no hurry to spring it. Hello, Frederick. My lord. My lord, our scouts report some manner of engagement downfield. Right. Understood. Get everyone ready to move. While you're waiting to be, uh, have a trap sprung on you, remember to stay hydrated. Right. These desert sands are certain to bog down our units, my lord. 
Only mages and flyers will likely be able to proceed unhindered. <clears throat> Good point. I'll keep it in mind, Neon. Let's discuss strategy. Flyers and mages apparently are good for this. Hmm. So... Huh. Desert and then plain. So we want to bring our uh, Chalard. He has a, a, an energy drop. Permanent increases strength. Neat. Hmm. So we have flyers, we have mages, but we should probably, like, pair, like, characters together. Let's see. We'll throw you away so we can add me back in, so that I can guide Chrome across the battlefield. Hmm. I don't want you guys... Hmm. Bring you guys in. Hmm. Trying to think. Because we'll probably want to split up our mages to ferry other people across as well. Which means we'll be splitting up our... Stuff just a little bit. Anyone that I want to leave behind. Hmm. It's almost difficult. Maybe bring Donal in. Maybe bring Vike so he can level up some. Hmm. And I guess Longku as well. Not everybody will have like a good thing going on, but should be good. Enough, eh? Uh, have, have I lost him? Who are you? And who are you? Wait, I say. Why you no comprehending, wee one? Uh, get away! Everyone just leave me alone! Oi! <laughs> Oi! Please be qu keeping down with the voice. You give away position. Very bad. My throat is dry, my shoes are full of sand, and some big weirdo is trying to kill me! Good grieving. <laughs> Good grieving. Oi, you break Gregor's heart. Why you treat like villain? <sighs> you there, fiend. Keep your hands off that maiden. Huh? Who is fiend? You mean Gregor? No, friend. You have idea wrong. Yeah, right, creep. What? This day has been nothing but insults and punches to groin. And all for doing good deed. Listen, friend. Gregor only want to. Gotcha, you slippery scamp. Prepare for a dose of Grima's wrath. Boy, this is most terrible. Do you see now? They make with the catching of us. Hmm? Why are you all after the girl? Nonsense. All? What is this all? Gregor is not all one of all. Look close. Maybe you'll not see from so far. Gregor have this at the baby face. Hmm. Well... Yeah, not your innocent baby is how I describe it. God, never be minding. Gregor is not enemy. You must believe. Right. Well, this is making my head hurt. We'll sort him out later. Right now we need to protect the girl. Y you're going to help me? Yes. We'll do everything in our power to keep you safe. Just hold on until we can reach you, and we'll drive them off. And they just go into the middle of everything. Is this where we normally learn about villages? Hmm? We need to warn these villages of the danger, but who to send? Best of it's someone who can move swiftly through the sands. Hmm. Let's see. We can move basically anywhere. Obviously, we pair together. Because mages can... Apparently, I'm technically not a mage, I guess. I'm a tactician. That feels a bit silly.
Probably should have brought a better, more spear for her. <laughs> Absolute overkill. Absolute overkill. Hmm. Oh, but I can actually control them. Gregor the Mercenary. He has Arms Thrift, attack without expending a weapon use. Huh. And Patience. And she's a... Who are you? An innocent little manakeet of the dramatic side. A dragon stone. Fighting dragon food. Neat. Go ahead and grab that. Hey, what do you dream about? I could always use some new ideas to fill the years. Gregor wants to be rich, of course. Perhaps you hire Gregor. We'll send them ahead to try and aid. Let's see. Hmm. He's less likely to hit, so we'll go ahead and send him down. Darn, how dare you hurt the lady. Now die. Jousting through the air. And I got another steel lance. We'll head to follow the road a bit. Not how I intended it to go. I meant to pair people up so the mages didn't have to do everything. This child is going to murder you. Donald is becoming a monster. We may have to stop him. Well, that's not good at all. Luckily, it does a 35% and he missed like a fool. Also nice to know that the sands affect everyone else as well. But God, there's a lot of them. Hmm. We'll send you to visit. Tell them to leave. God praise you, good people. God praise you, one and all. We lives in constant fear of what the Grim Lil will do to us. So he does. Here, take this staff with me blessings. It can fetch a distant comrades to safety. Be sure to place it in the hands of one gifted in spells or the like. Magic folk be able to reach the farthest with it. Neat. We could thunder him to death. Or we continue down the path. Hmm. Yeah, we'll smack this guy on the way down to the left hand village. Good job, Long Cool. Hmm. But I'm silly and I want to do a thing. Because. Like I said, I'm silly and want to do thing. you down on the road. I And I won't be able to counterattack because I don't have my magic prepped. But luckily, I am a beast and cannot die. Cordelia is being pummeled. How dare you. Die now. I wonder what their, like, overall thought process is like. Ah, we have to utilize them, like, your full diddly D for things to diddly D. Get away from me! Motherfucking dragon! 
if you saw somebody transform into a dragon, would you seriously go, and yeah, I'm going to harass this person? What in the blazes? The girl is a dragon? By the god, she's a manicate. Manicat? I've never thought I'd see one. And perhaps she doesn't need our help so much as we could use hers. Is Vake gonna die again? Is he gonna become the... The running gag of death? Apparently these mages are really drawn to Vake for some reason. And they keep missing. Leave her alone! so cool. She's like a crystal dragon. And she's dying. Oh, good. Relief. Well, before we actually do things, we need to... We'll come on in and ease the fight. Good job, Frederick. Oh, thank you. You guys can pair together. And Gregor's going to kill this guy. <laughs> he did a freaking backflip handstand? Is that a cartwheel or something? I forget the terminology. If I had a proper healer, I would absolutely use her, but she is in terrible danger, so Donnie is going to fucking murder some people. It's so cool. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Actually... I'm just gonna use Arc Fire to blow you away. Leave me alone, will ya? Arc Fire! Now that strategy. It was brute force. And we'll just fly up to the back over here. And we'll just, uh, I guess Elwind you, because it's apparently stronger for some reason. Doesn't matter, 1% crit, goodbye. I feel like that was overkill. You have picked a very bad person to fight. And you didn't even do any damage. Now get flamethrowered and stabbed. My strength comes from diligence. You have picked a very bad person to fight because Donald is a monster. You cannot hurt him, but he will hurt you. He is a pig handler from a small village. How is he so strong? Are you all going to fight Donnie and die? Why? Quit feeding Donnie. He does not need more food. He leveled up already. Good. Fine. Fight somebody else. Just leave. And now Rickon is the one who's going to be eating good. I did it. That you did. You blasted a guy with wind. Why is it? Why? Why do you long for death? I wanted Muriel to get a hit in. All of these guys are just running to their death. What the fuck is wrong with all of you? Let's see. going to trade and give you the Vulnary. We will switch 
We will use the Vulnary so that we can utilize you a bit. And we'll send you down here so you can get to the other place. And you can come down here and... Oh yeah, because you have Javelin. But I prefer to visit. The other guy will come fight you anyway. You have our thanks for the warning. Please, take this. It's my family's treasure. I would offer more if only I could. A fellow with enough experience could use it to grow even stronger. A master seal, you say? I'm going to throw that into the convoy. Now we have two of those. A base class that has reached level 10 can use a master seal to change to a more advanced class. Class changes provide stat growth and allow your units to wield new weapons. Neat. Probably, yeah, activate that. I suppose we don't have to worry too much. We will put her on and apparently use wind because it absolutely annihilates everyone. We'll have Gregor. Well, actually, let's put you out there so you can actually try and maybe do stuff. Every chapter just gives me more characters that I need to level up. matter everyone else is gonna be on the parade so go ahead and smack this guy dead let's level you up Lanku but I'm guessing that the oh vantage what is vantage if HP is half or less always strike first neat but I'm going to guess that the going strategy in fact um, well, I'll test that in a moment, maybe. We'll click level. Nope. Shows how seasoned a unit is or his or for his or a class, so I don't know what the, like, max level is. But... That'd be interesting if it actually told you. But... More than likely, the go-to strategy is to level up a unit all the way to its max level, which I don't know what it is. It's definitely not 16. And then get to the max level, and then class change them. Hmm. And then by class changing, you can do some cool shit. We'll slowly move everyone up so they can... Aid each other in combat. Still kind of annoyed that Tactician technically isn't a bibbidi bop. We don't want to lure anybody in just yet. Hmm. Axe v. Axe, maybe? Lure them in one by one. And that'll be it. How much you pay? It's Gregor time! Dead already? Gregor is good at his job, apparently. I am invincible, dude. You have you are probably the unit who has died the most for me. We'll send you down here and grab it so you can. Just don't get weapon proficiency. Hey, what do you dream about? <laughs> Just ask that to everybody, huh? Oh, I just dream of making a difference so I can go home with my chest puffed out. How adorable. I should probably switch back. I'm, I'm a fool and just didn't do that. And since he's a, a, a chapter boss, he's just going to stand there. All right, then. So it seems like it, both of these are for both of them. We'll switch because Gregor... Hmm. Wait. Mm. And we will wait. <laughs> or we could bring him over here, actually. We'll 
bring him in a little bit. Hmm. Or actual. We'll wait again. I'm very particular. There's no, like, super duper have to hurry. Now don't die. You should do good. Crap, he's gonna do 12 damage. So it's possible that she's gonna get annihilated. Oh, never mind. Good. How much damage are you gonna do? Good. She was at risk of being obliterated, and that would have been bad. That would have been very bad. Go ahead and visit this place. Really? You'll protect the village? This little dung heap? Goodness, you're kind. I suppose I should give you a little something, eh? Here, something with enough experience could use this. It's our new life. It's like running off to join a circus troupe, but more classy-like. A second seal. A base class at level 10 or advanced class can use a second seal to change to a different class entirely. This lets you try various other classes while keeping all your unit skills intact. Huh. I wonder which is better, then. I'm going to quickly look that up, because I am curious. Hmm. Seal or Master Seal? Which is the best seal? Because the second seal specifically notes that you keep your skills. Hmm. Da, da, da. The benefit of using a second seal is to obtain skills. Since they carry over when you change class and have your cl uh, characters in something other than their default class. If you're planning to only use magic and don't care much about your avatar being a particular class, promote to Grandmaster, don't care. I just want the specifics. Master should, would make your character go to the advanced class where a second seal would let you reclass. Your avatar, Starry Classes Tactician, Master Seal would make him a Grandmaster. A second seal would let you make him like a knight or something. Hmm. You never lose skills from either. Good. Changing classes gives you the opportunity to learn new skills. Also, in general, the promoted classes have better stat bases, so you get a boost from using a Master Seal. Grandmaster is a great class. I don't care. That was part of the question that person asked. So, basically, it's... You really do want the advanced classes primarily, and if you just don't want... Okay, let's see. It's likely to die, but I only attacked once. It's a 92% chance. Hmm. Well, oh, I, let's see. Better chance to schmiggity schmack that guy. Then go ahead and smack that guy away and get a killing edge. The predicted outcome. And leveled up skill. Huzzah. And got the killing edge. Double huzzah. And we'll just move about to grant better bonuses so that she can annihilate this fool. Again, why would you attack a dragon? Alright. Now the question is, how scary are you? Pretty damn scary. The extra issue is that... Hmm, if I came here and threw a lance at you, that would actually do a lot of damage. So what I'll do is I will throw a javelin at this guy, and uh, I would, hmm, no, I'm not going to risk it. I was going to be like, oh, I'll put allies there. Don't get a crit. <laughs> you dare defy Grima, god of annihilation. Don't get a crit. We don't want him to die. We want to feed the manikeet. 
that's a, a terrifying thing. Thank you, Longku, for not jumping in. Like a terrifying monster. All right, kill him. Be destroyed by dragon power. Again, a crystal dragon. Master Grima, my life force is yours. And a level up for the Mankeet. Manket? How is it pronounced? I feel like I could take on a whole army. <laughs> now Ian Donald. This is just the worst day ever. Good grief. Oh, now, we won. Do not make the crying of tears. The evil people are not dead people. This is good, no? You, you're right. Thank you, and I'm sorry I was so mean to you earlier. I just got ner- I just get nervous around people who are outside my age group. Your age group? Ha! Ah, Greg are much closer to your age than others here. Listen. Say, um, Gregor, was it? Gregor, do you mind looking after her? We need to press on. Hmm, Gregor is mercenary, yes? Maybe you hire Gregor instead. True, Gregor just finished killing former employers, but still very reliable. So long as you would not try to hurt little girl, Gregor will not hurt you. Also, Gregor needs steady income. Many angry former employers. Really? You're a sellsword. Yes, very sellsword. Cost performance very high. You have Gregor's word. Right. Sure, why not? You're hired. But, but what about me? I won't go back to the auction block. Huh? Wait, you've been sold? Like, like a slave? <sighs> to men more despicable than you can possibly imagine. They made me transform for them. They drank and laughed and called out tricks. Jesus. What kind of scumbags buy and sell a little girl? Even if you can turn into a dragon. No. She may be little, my lady, but not nearly so young as you might think. Manquettes live a very long time. Huh? Really? How old are you? Huh? I don't know, a thousand something? But look, no wrinkles! Well. <laughs> this is anime. So, what do you expect from anime if not the thousand year old lolly? The dragon kin are said to be more resilient than men. Now he would make a strong ally. Besides, we cannot risk her falling back into the hands of the Grim Leo. Huh? Beg pardon, but who are the Grim Leo? Ah. Followers of the fell dragon Grima. The self-same dragon the first exalt defeated a thousand years ago. Even today, there are some who yearn for the feed's return. I see. I see. Listen. Well, shall we get some rest? We're almost to the Plagian capital, and we'll need all our strength soon enough. It feels like the story is going on a fast track. That's what it feels like. Skill tonic, men, concoction. Well, let's see. We got some supports. Cordelia and Lanku. Lanku, we're about to hold the war council. It's time to return to camp. Right. Very well. Uh, may I ask you something? Yes. Of course. I'll return the favor. Why did you come to my assistance in our most recent battle? Right. Well, you were beset by foes and looked as if you needed the help. I see. You are not wrong in this. I would like to settle the debt quickly. Is there something you need? Huh? It's hardly a debt, Lanku. We're on the same side. But I can see you're serious. Let me see. I'd love to get some fencing lessons, but I suppose that's not possible. I mean, what with your crippling phobia of standing near women. Uh... Well... By the way, does this phobia mean you can't help me on the battlefield either? Right. No. In the heat of battle, I am able to overcome my inclinations. <laughs> Well, that's a relief. I'd hate to think you'd stand there while some brigand ran me through. If you ever require assistance, you need only say the word. Yes. I'll keep that in mind. Lanku seems like a silly little man. And Donald and Nowie, who he can apparently marry. If all S rank, it is very odd that Donald and the protagonist can apparently get married. Donald can marry so many people. Why? That is so weird. So hey, can I see that rock? 
Huh? Curfling? Horse apples? What are you going to do that for? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Oh, hey, hold up a minute. What did she do? Check it, Donnie. I bagged a pheasant. Uh, forget your bird, Nowy. The stone. Where's my stone? Huh? What? This one? Ah, uh, there she is. Whoop. Oh, sorry. Was it important? More than anything I own. It's my one real treasure. It belonged to my pa. Oh, oh my gosh, Donnie. I'm sorry. I didn't know I... <laughs> now she's crying. Wow. I ain't now. No need to stop bawling. I ain't mad. At least not anymore. Really? You're not? Yeah. Nah. I ain't no harm done. Uh, Here, you should take this pheasant. I'll even roast it for you. I'm not sure what temperature to put my breath at, but I figure about 10,000 degrees. Ow, wait, wait! I'll just build a fire. This ain't the time nor the place to go turn into a dragon, now we. But I like turning into a dragon. Yeah. Look, we got plenty of dry wood. Just sit back and I'll have us a fire going in two shakes of a pig's tail. Okay, okay thanks, Donnie. Gosh, but that was close. That seems like an, uh, an amusing adventure they'd have. And even Gregor got up there, too. So, hey. It's so odd that apparently they can marry. It just feels weird. Hey, Gramps. Gramps? What is this, Gramps? If Gregor is Gramps, the little girl is great, great, great granny. So, how, so you know how old I am, huh? Weird, most people can't stop talking about how young I look. No, it's just how you say, flatulence. No, wait, flippery, bloodness. Gregory does not remember. Is that word when people say lies to make other person feel better? No idea what you're talking about. Anyway, I'll have to ask, I have something to ask you. If you want to borrow money, answer is no. Gregor is poor like beggar. We'll be fine. Yes, I know that. That's why I want to give you something. Huh? You give Gregor shiny gold coin? Huh? No, Crom doesn't let me have it. <laughs> That's amusing. Crom doesn't let me have money. I always end up losing it. Agreed. Gregor is too is to under trusting senile squirrel with life savings. Hey, for your information, I happen to be quite smart. I just don't care about money is all. Us cats don't use it much. Oh, it's very good. Money is root of evil. So then what do you give Gregor? Listen. I knitted you a big woolly sweater, see? It's got shoulder pads built in. Good grieving. Now this looks like Gramps' clothing. Also, Gregor is no good in sweater. It's too hot, yes? Yeah, but this one's really light. It really breathes. I lined it with Manikeet scales. Hmm. Scale of Manikeet? Gregor is stunned. How are you finding such priceless artifacts? <laughs> See, I thought you'd be impressed. I just had some lying around, so don't worry about it. No. Then Gregor accepts wonderful gift with much gratitude. Okay. <laughs> Glad you like it. That's a sweet thing, although it is kind of funny where he's just like, I know who you are. I know what you are. You cannot fool Gregor. A seasoned mercenary with a big heart and a refreshing grin. An innocent little man -keep. That's still funny. And now we also have at least this battle. Do we want to do it? Well, first things first, we should probably... We'll put Javelin away. It's a spear, and then we'll take the Javelin out again. So that her thing is proper. I need to reline his entire inventory to, or just to, to equip the thing later. We'll put the killing edge away. We'll put the second seal away. Careful not to use. We'll put the rescue away. We'll, uh, do you need another steel lance? Do we have another lance to give you? I guess we need to buy more lances. That's one thing we need to do. Look at what we have equipped and what we have in excess. We'll take the energy stone and we'll store it for now. There's so many characters. I don't even know how many, like, chapters there are to this game. Like, considering, like, and some, and there are paralogues too. There's just so many things. But I guess we'll go ahead and fight this fight. Challenge the long fort. Let's see. We have a bunch of flying dudes who are weak to horse and flying. And then people who are weak to dragon and flying. 
an iron lance. These guys just spawned out. Some small bullion. Hey, an instant level up guy, too. Now the question is, who do I want to bring in? Hmm. I guess not you guys. Because one thing about this is to, like, get characters up together so that they can, like, level up as well as have a permanent partner they can rely on. Like, maybe level up Naoi. Place her with Donald and he can do stuff. Let's see, Cordelia. Hmm. Ah, neat. Stats, combat, weapons, skills. Interesting. Now the question is, who do I want to bring? Because there's so many people that I could bring. I guess I could bring Gaius and Lisa. Because again, I just find the... Like combination of guy who likes sweets and and again their 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 interactions of him helping her so is just so adorable i love it so let's see hmm do we want vike hmm cuz if we look at it from a who do we want Cordelia to marry? Who even sh could she marry? Because frickin' Sumia could only, like, marry three people. Because I guess she's picky. But who is Cordelia even close to? Hmm, optimize. Interesting. Because let's see. I've been pairing Maribel and Stahl together, so probably not that. Hmm. Maybe Callum for Cordelia, so goodbye, Vike. Hello, Callum. And I want to see more about Donald and Nowie. I don't know. They're like the only friendship that doesn't feel weird. And again, the game is like, the thousand-year-old dragon lolly can be married to many people. D Donnie the D Donald the, the pig hand child man. This game is weird sometimes. Then again, we don't know their exact ages, but that almost makes it weirder. I'll activate that. Let's see. Ah, apparently, we'll take no damage. So we'll pair you up so you get more stats. We'll pair you and you. Well, actually, we'll pair into the trees so that the things can go good. We'll send you guys up here to grab that. Did someone lose this. Superior Edge. Neat. And he can just go all over the fucking place. Neat. We'll probably... I'll place them there. And you can stay there. Well, they picked the right people to fuck with. You are going to die. You blocked a javelin with a book. Good job. Now, the question is, who do I want to instant level? Maybe we should have ran back and <laughs> put everyone together. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe have Callum fight? He does need to level up a bit. Let's see. He would just die. Everyone is just going to die. So... Hmm. Right now I'm just trying to think of what would be a good thing, like a good placement. I wonder. Switch and throw. Hmm. Poor Kellum. 
Again, let's see. He could do a decent damage to that guy. Let's also quickly see. Okay, luckily everyone else is far away, so we should be able to at least do some stuff. Let's see. Again, it would be nice if we could also change the stack. Let's fight. No damage, you fool. And he will smickety smack this guy to death. We'll keep the steel sword just in case. Dipping and dodging all over the place, because he's a madman. Oh, you are, you are ranged! Neat! I like that. Then we can just have them stay in here forever. We'll go ahead and bonus damage this guy away. I was going to say, let's see, nope, let's see. Now he is going to be fucking bombarded, is what I'm learning. We could try and run away to join others, but then that would leave them at the mercy. But then again, maybe they could run, but I don't think they have good speed. We can hopefully switch to Donnie if things go bad. Blast this guy. Again, it's such a pretty design. Good job, Donnie. Donnie deciding, I will help my friend who almost destroyed my family heirloom. And a nice spread of stats. I feel like I could take on a whole army. Well, you need more health for that. Oh, fuck. Javelins. But that'll do no damage. And it, even, it didn't even get to hit. And you get counterattacked, fool. You were supposed to feed poor... What is his name? Stealth Man, I forget his name. Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel. Stealthy, because no one watches this show. Why did you pick the people that can annihilate you? And you missed. Maybe I shouldn't be as afraid for the people down here as I thought. And got the skill focus. Neat. And you'll only do one damage. Okay. Maybe these guys just <laughs> spawned in a good place to do no damage. Hilarious. And you will do no damage to Gaius. Lull. This amuses me. Let's see. Well, he can kill him and at least level up. Hmm. So what I could do is I could have him come up here, kill that. Yeah. Then hopefully that will also allow somebody to get hurt so that Lisa can get some healing in. That would also be a nice thing if you could heal your partner in combat easily. Oh well. Smack this guy. Good job, Cordelia. Kellum, not Kimmel. I swapped all his I swapped his like letters around. Good job. I just need to decide to... Oh, since you already did that, we shall annihilate you. Goodbye. <laughs> just utter annihilation of this twink. This twink is doing an annihilation. And the mages have leveled up. And got the skill focus! What is focus, now that I remember? 
grants when there are no allies, so if you're alone, you can murder. Honestly, I don't know. He can't do any damage. He can, so we're gonna kill him. I forget, did you already level up? Or should I have switched to Donnie? Oh well. And now the enemies will suicide in. Why did you- You are going to be annihilated! Why? You are going to do no damage. Well, at least Donnie will be able to <laughs> get the hit in. You didn't even hit the, your no damage. You are a silly fool. What would a crit be if there was no damage? I would presume that it wouldn't do anything. Damn it. D does he at least, is he missing a little health? He's missing a little health. What we will do is we will heal him a little bit to get some experience for Lisa. That's a weird animation. Wave your hands through the air like you just don't care. And then we'll switch and annihilate you. And then, if world permits, fly over to the other, like, sparkly, if capable. Now, leveled up your skill. Huzzah! And we will let Donnie get this kill, because why not? Use your bronze lance for it. Get stabbed, horseman. Yeah. yeah. And you can just stay there, hiding in the forest. You have come to die. Hilarious. Maybe I should do all my grinding at the fort then. Because my pairs of characters seem to do well there. <laughs> Underdog skill? Neat. Huzzah! What fun. And support? Cordelia and Kellum. How does the stealth go? <sighs> okay, I think I did it. <clears throat> Hello, Cordelia. Are you practicing your stealth moves again? <laughs> Kellum, there you are. Listen, I think I've got the hang of this now. I just circled the whole camp without being spotted by anyone. Okay. Really? Oh, well done. That must have been hard. Listen. But here's the thing. I made a count of everyone and I never found you. What? That's because I was on guard duty patrolling the camp's perimeter. What? What? B but I was sneaking around the perimeter. I didn't see you anywhere. Are you sure you weren't taking a nap in one of the tents? I won't tell. <gasps> no, I was on the perimeter. I even saw when you hid behind the ra raspberry bush. No. Wait, you saw me circling the camp? Then I didn't... Then I wasn't... Oh, blast it all. No. Oh, don't be glum. It's hard to be stealthy when you stand out as much as you do. <sighs> you think I stand out? If you well, so. I mean, you're just so pretty and you have that long hair and... That's it, I'm getting a haircut. What? Oh no, please don't do that. <laughs> I'm just joking, Kellum. Don't worry, but thanks for the compliment. Okay. Oh, um, you're welcome. I like their dynamic, it's nice. And Mariel and Rickon, what is your A? I like your sciencing. And begin. Yeah. <laughs> Curious. As hypothesized, the same tome yields different results based on the user. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's because you're a stronger mage than me. But what is magical prowess specifically? What factors determine its development? Hmm? Well, it's, I mean, it's like that one thing where mages... You know, I've never even stopped to think it through. Hmm. A complex multi-causational phenomena, to be sure, but a fascinating line of inquiry. Oh, hey. You're always asking questions other people haven't even thought of. Where do you come up with this stuff? Right. My research is based predominantly on the writings of my mother. To her final day, she documented every phenomena and natural law she observed. Some called them the ravings of a madwoman, but I saw crystalline insight. Oh. And now you want to prove her right. 
We're not that different, you know. I'm fighting for my family's name, too. We used to be one of Ulysses' highest noble, high noble houses, but times have been hard lately. It's up to me to come, be come home a war hero and rebuild our reputation. So if there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. <laughs> Likewise. I like their dynamic, even though, again, a bit odd, like the young-faced man can apparently marry, then again, maybe Muriel is younger than I give her credit for. It's hard to tell with all this anime going around. We're gonna sell the bullion. I carry only the finest. Only the finest. Let's see, any other bullion that we've got? Does not look like it. Then what I should do first is look over. Store away that. Uh, don't need uh, an extra iron lance. Hmm. I'll probably give you an extra heal, just to be safe. And stabs, we have an extra heal. Boop. We need to buy a few extra heals. Is there anyone who's getting low on... Weapon resources. You could use another steel, if we have. Hmm. We could go buy another... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. The log is... Oh, oh, okay, sure. We need more diddly -dees. But now I want to see. Let's see. What can I fix you with? I kind of wish that it would tell me if I, like had a certain number of things already. But we want to heal at least one. Let's go to inventory. Which I could just select the convoy. Let's see. Of swords... I guess we could use some more iron swords. We, we seem to be good on bronze swords. Spears, bronze is doing good. Iron seems to be doing good. We could use either more iron or steel. Our axes, I think, are good because, like, nobody uses them. We only have, like, one archer. <laughs> In fact, since we're here, let's go over your, like, thing. Because we have a steel bow and an iron bow. In fact, let's store that in there. Let's see. Bow, bow, bow. Blessed bow. Restores HP every turn. Does it have to be equipped, or could I just, like, have it in the inventory? And he could be, like, immortal. Towering bow. Archer classes only. Does that mean that other people can use? Underdog bow. When the enemy's level is higher. That's probably never going to happen. I guess I could put just another steel bow in there once the iron bow runs out. Hilarious. But let's see. Uh, we could use more fire. We could just use more magic in general. When we need more stones, but I don't know where to get them. I don't know where to get them. I don't know where to get them. We've been having this store. We've had these forever. And we just haven't used them. Let's see. Open up the shop window. We'll just buy a bit of everything. I carry only the finest. Just one of each. Just kind of... Mm. Just extra careful. Let's see. Let's travel about. This place has iron sword and axe. Some concoctions. Iron lance and bow. What can I fix you? Buy two iron lances just because. Iron sword. Is there anything else around here? Iron sword as well. 520. I wonder if different ones have different. Doesn't seem like it. He's selling a hammer on sale. I'm not sure if I'm that crazy to buy a hammer right now. And this place just has iron in general. I guess I'll buy two iron swords. Yes, quat. 
And I guess to round out everything, we will do one more freaking box battle here at the fort. Because why not? Fight! All right, view map. Let's see. Is anybody, like, weak to horses? No, she's just weak to... Well, my flying people are. And there's lots of horses. Well, let's see. Do we want our mages... Well, considering how many people are down here... Well, actually... Hmm. Seems to be even split this time. That's Kellum gonna be up there. Hmm. Might have you down there. Yeah, I think this might be good. Kind of tanky killers and a, and a healer down here and stuff. I, I think this is good. I think this is good, we shall say. And now we will fight! As usual, we activate that. We come up here to grab this. <laughs> Roy's blade! Hey, Roy, we found your blade! Per usual, we shall hide in the trees. And we'll move them ahead, just so we can. And you can stay there. Don't die. <laughs> okay, get a crit, sure. He took my words seriously. Spin attack! Become a Beyblade! And frickin' knock a horse off its hooves. Well, we do have javelins. So let's see. <laughs> ah, that amuses me so greatly. <laughs> I think I'll just, yeah, throw a javelin. Javelin! And she decides to almost kill him anyway. We will try to spare him. I don't know if we will wait behind. <laughs> hmm. I could try and kill him. Let's see. If we switch, I need to. Well, technically, the optimal way would be to. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Would do a decent amount of damage, but have a chance to miss. And he would do no damage at all. But actually, let me quickly check. Everyone is so far away. We will come here, switch, and attack you. Become Dragon! Almost a level up. And then we'll have you come down here and uh, schmiggity schmack this guy a bit. You gonna crit again? Nope. Maybe the second hit will crit. For maximum amusement. Don't die. I think you might die down here. Why? You were meant to be for Kellum. You were Kellum snack, you bitch. Why couldn't you go fight Callum instead? They're all gonna go after the mages, aren't they? Well, luckily, I think this might mark the diddly d of not being able to. Never mind. Rickon, I think you have sealed Muriel's fate. 
Now the other horse guy is going to run up and skewer her. Never mind, he's gonna throw a fucking thing, a short spear. And he's gonna hit that 59. Bastard. Inconceivable. What an asshole. Okay, he won't die to this at least. But bears the question of the the archer, he probably unless he walks away and attacks uh like uh Nawi, then maybe. At least he leveled up before he's gonna get smacked. Damn it, he's going for the guy. Missed the 59%! Bastard! He was like, oh, this'll be easy. I should have stayed in the forest, is what I've gotten. <laughs> I have learned I should have stayed in the goddamn forest. That is what I have learned. First things first, I need to equip my lance so that I can get proper diddly dees. Let's see. No matter what, he's going to hit me, but... So if I move here and blast him, we can at least be somewhat out of the range of the other guy. And then Kellum can come up here and shank this guy. And a level up for Kellum. She will be put into the forest to be less likely to die. And you can annihilate him. The boss is probably going to come on over and annihilate you, though. I just realized. I probably should have looked over how much damage the boss would do to you. Oh well. Goodbye. Unless he attacks the... Are you gonna die? No, you're gonna live. Good. Good for you. You get to live. And you can't even heal yourself because he's a dick. Leave the mage alone. Good job, Kellum. Walks back into frame. That amuses me. At least you leveled up before you're probably going to get smacked by the next guy that's going to come on in. Oh, never mind. He can't get to you. Congratulations. I shall heal you, so you have a sl I get a slight bit of experience out of this before Lisa dies. Well, let's see if we moved here, swapped, would he be annihilated? Would come close. Let's try. Damn it. This is Miss Nation. Here. And then Cordelia can come and smite this man. Get smited. Annihilation for thee. And now to play America's favorite game show. Is Lisa gonna fucking get nuked? The answer seems to be yes. Goodbye, Lisa. What a big jerk. Mm. Yeah, let's use up the bronze lance. He's not scaring me. I'm gonna... 
poke you to death with a bronze spear. How do you feel about that? If anything, I probably could have just put him in there and then... Because... Ah, uh, the other sparkle. Yeah, I'm not going to move you. Oh, he went into there as well. Will we miss? Will we both miss? Will he hit me? He hit me. Will I miss? And now he decides to die. And only just like half of our field got wiped out. Hilarious. I wonder what dictates the barracks to get updated, though. And Donald and now he got... Because they were in a lot of fights there. Hey, Donnie, you still have that stone from before? You mean my pa's stone? Of course I do. That's not how that's not his voice at all. It's more different than that. Can I see it? I promise not to throw it. Please. Ooh, it's so pretty. Is that why it's your most favorite treasure? Yeah. Looks ain't got nothing to do with it. The stone's part of a promise with my pa. Huh? A promise? He gave it to me back before he died. He always loved rocks and stones and such, but this was his favorite. He said it had a kind of power in it, all hidden away. That is greater than it looked. Reckon I don't quite understand all that, but it's what he believed. So I promised him that one day I'd figure it out and release that hidden power. Wow, I'm jealous. Huh? I'm my stone, but you got one that turns you into a dragon. You know, of your promise of your father. I never knew my father. Never got to talk to him. I'm really sorry to hear that. Oh, uh, but I do remember where I was born. Oh, yeah? Where's that? Nope. I forget. Huh? But you just said... Mm. No, I do remember, but just not right now. Next time I have it, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, I don't quite understand all that, but I guess I'll look forward to it. Yes. Hey, let's play. You're the most fun to play around with here with. Here we go. Ah, shucks, Nowie. I think you're a real hoot, too. They are adorable. Even though one is a thousand-year-old dragon and the other is a, a pig farmer turned warrior. But that shall be it for now. Next time we will probably do more reeking box grinding because it is fun. It is fun time. So we shall... Well, actually, we should also sell our bullion before I forget. I think there was only one bullion for there. Indeed. So we shall buy a reeking box and maybe try out a different place and potentially watch all of our units be utterly slaughtered. Like, eh, maybe not the border sands because it's restrictive of movement. But maybe we'll go back to, like, uh, the Breakneck Pass next time. Have fun there. As we just level up everybody's affinity and stuff. Like, again, it feels like the, the, the plot is going fast. Then again, who knows? Maybe we're still just in the, f the first arc, the first third of the story. Because, like, we still don't know, like, yeah, because we, the Avatar, Robin, as it were, just woke up in the middle of nowhere with no memory except that premonition of the future. Lucina, a.k.a. Marth, still needs to show up again. And, like, I know Tharja, the Dark Mistress Lady, is supposed to show up. She's a fan favorite, and she hasn't appeared yet. But Imarin has been kidnapped. We are nearing Chapter 10. How many chapters are in here? I am afraid. But yes, this is fun. I like this. I like the characters. The only thing that's weird is, like, the marriage system, which is still funny. It's like, ah, S rank. Like, it'd be amusing to, to like see people's first time reactions is like, ah, S rank, congratulations, you have married this character. What? I wonder how many people reloaded saves because they just weren't expecting it. Because I didn't, unless the game said so and I just didn't know and I'm a fool. But yes, thank you very much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, then please check out the various places that I do things, like my YouTube channels. Neon Icy Wings is the edited content YouTube channel. Once again, I swear, edited content is coming at some point. Bleh. And then Neon Icy Games is my streaming and gaming channel, where I stream games live and then upload the gameplay afterwards so that it can be immortalized on the YouTube systems until YouTube collapses and 
what is probably the millions and billions of hours of content is gone forever. But yeah, if you want, you can subscribe there and watch the ever backlog of games that I have played, like the Ace Attorney trilogy, the Mass Effect trilogy. There's lots of trilogies in the gaming world space. Hmm. And if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. And if you like my little character in the corner, I have a various art site I po that I post to. My brain just, like, went words and didn't know how to continue. But yes, I have multiple art sites that I post to, like Newgrounds, DeviantArt, Pillowfort, Inkblot, Blue Sky, Twitter, I guess for now, until it just decides to kill us all. But yeah, and you can find links to all of those and more in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. And also in my link tree are links to my writing, if you want to check those out, because writing is fun, as well as a link to my Patreon, in case you want to throw a dollar do my way to ease the pain of the evils of the world. <laughs> But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.